risks for people with NCDs who contracted COVID have been acknowledged in the UN General Assembly omnibus resolution on COVID, which called on all the UN member states to strengthen their efforts to address NCDs as part of achieving universal health coverage. But let's go further than that. Diagnosis and support services for people living with NCDs need to be seen as part of the essential core of health services, which must continue at all costs, including during a pandemic. Uh, a year into COVID-19, it's really clear that what we're dealing with here is, is two pandemics in one. It's COVID, um, an acute pandemic, on top of a cro chronic pandemic, non-communicable diseases. And what we've seen over the last year is when you mix the two, the results are really deadly. People living with NCDs have been at the epicenter of the virus, experiencing much more severe outcomes than the general population. So one of the key lessons that has come out in this pandemic is that if you want an efficient response, then you require a efficient and equitable health system functioning in the steady state if you want a swift and strong surge response to any public health emergency. Otherwise, we'll be faltering with ad hoc solutions in a relatively inefficient manner, however well-intentioned our response is as a society. So what we need to do is to focus on building back much better. And that we do need to do, not just building back better, but broader and fairer. And that requires our comprehensive primary health care for all conditions, especially non-communicable diseases, which have been neglected so far, but also building in continuity and connected care to other levels of care. And unless we start doing that now, and again, we are faced with another pandemic, even if it's an influenza pandemic or any other respiratory virus, we know every time, whether it's SARS or MERS or any other condition, it is people with non-communicable diseases who are the worst victims. And therefore, if we start neglecting them even now, it is a terrible situation that will follow later on. Therefore, instead, we must start investing in a much more broad-based health system, which provides appropriate diagnostic and therapeutic care and continuity of care and connected care to persons with non-communicable diseases. And we do need to do that. And if the Global Health Security Index, which has been mainly conditioned to deal with pandemic situations, ignores NCDs, then again, we'll be providing a very incomplete response to pandemics or any kind of public health emergency. Protecting patients from cardiovascular disease through an improved food environment and better diagnosis, treatment and care of hypertension are critical to both building resilient populations and making our health systems more resilient. We ask for a human rights-based approach, which is we want people living with NCDs to, to be included, not as a tick box, but as a right that we have in terms of Article 4 of the 1978 Declaration of Alma Atta. Thank you. The commercial determin determinants, especially the industries, really they play the uh, bigger role to position themselves uh, during this COVID-19, uh, as if like they are the you know the responsible the industry, uh, something like this. So they, the industries including the tobacco, alcohol, uh, sugary uh, sugary drinks, and so on, they have they have still they are, they are working closely with the governments, both national and subnational levels, through the different mechanism, donations, partnership, gift, uh, several things. So uh, because of this, uh, the, the industry's interference and intervention, so many, uh, some countries, they have also, you know, there were uh, the, some uh, relax for implementation of the good tobacco control or alcohol control programs and so on. Furthermore, um, what we've seen is that many COVID policies and measures while beneficial for reducing infection risks, have immediate and potentially long-term consequences for NCDs, with lockdowns impacting upon diet quality, alcohol consumption, physical activity and mental health, particularly in lower socioeconomic groups. 
And so as we take this opportunity to really review the lessons learned from COVID, I think it will be really key to revisit the definition and the metrics for health security and pandemic preparedness and to consider how NCDs should be encompassed. We have to learn from it. Uh, that's uh, the, the job of the panel to uh, endeavour to distill uh, the lessons about what went wrong and how you'd fix it. And the contributions here today about you know, the critical importance of you know, uh, preventing what we can in the uh, non-communicable disease uh, area, ensuring that the services are part of the essential package, which there will be service continuity for whatever uh, the crisis, giving, giving a voice uh, to uh, to those who, who advocate for and have expertise in these areas. Um, you know, this has been really in incredibly valuable. I just thank you all busy people uh, for making the time to talk to us.